Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, the honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who still rule well. Yeah, peace and salutations to the whole full elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. And um, this is the brother Bashar. And um, we're going to get into a topic, which I'm going to call it, uh, let me see, I'm going to call it Yahweh Shai fulfilled the law before, during, and after he was on the scene. Okay. And I'm going to do three parts of this. Um, I'm going to start off with before. Okay. This is uh, video number one. And I'm going to open up with the book of Matthew, chapter 5. And most of you brothers, really all of you brothers should, 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 know, should know what the scripture is. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. It reads, Think not that I am come. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Okay. To destroy. Hold on. So lock here. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Okay. So Yahweh Shai, he came to fulfill the law. He didn't come to, to do away with it. Okay. This is the reason why he came. All right. And we're going to get into him showing that he fulfilled the law because you wacky tacky Christians you act like he didn't he, he he wasn't obeying the laws when he was on the scene you know and you act like he 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 he, 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 he didn't command to to uh to keep the laws all right which we're not which we know that we, we 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 can't keep the whole law, but laws like the dietary law, which 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 we're gonna get into t t to that as 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 as, as well, because the Lord commanded to keep the dietary law, um, and um, just laws that we can keep, okay, because we we, we can't keep every law in, in this society because a lot a lot of the laws the the the, the ways of this. This society is contrary to the scriptures, you know. Okay, uh, I'm going to start at verse 18. For verily I say, I'm, I'm going to continue on to verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass one jot or, slack, let me read this over. Matthew chapter 5 verse 18, continuing on at verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one little, one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And we're going to get into that as well, because a lot of, um, uh, because uh, that needs to be uh, broken down as well, All right? But uh, we're going to. First, go to the book of Leviticus, where the law is. <coughs> and, so like, we're going to get the book of book of Luke, second chapter. Okay. And... Lucky, I can just bear with you for a second. I know, I know, I should have had this on the setup, but this is a uh, Luke chapter two, and I'll start at verse. I 
We'll start at verse 21. And it reads, and when eight days, so like I'm going to start at verse, yeah, come, I'm going to start at verse 21. This is the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 21. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcision, for the circumcising of the child, his name was called, it says Jesus, but we all know that his, uh, but those of you who don't know his real name, is Yahweh Shai, okay? Which was named of the angels for uh, before he was conceived in the womb, okay? And when the days of her purification, according to the law, of Moses were accomplished, okay, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, present him to Yahweh, as it is written in the law, okay, of Yahweh. Every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to Yahweh. Okay. Now we're gonna. The, now this is according to the law. It mentioned that the law of Moses. So we're gonna get the law concerning the circumcision and the purification. Okay. Now this is uh, Leviticus chapter twelve. And I'm going to start at verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed, proving that the Lord was, it's like, uh, proving that the Lord was, uh, that, that, that there's no virgin birth, okay? Because he, he fulfilled this, this law, okay? Um, and because Yahweh shall fulfill this, 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 this law. And the Lord spake unto Moses, and Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then, then she shall be unclean seven days. According to the days of the separation for her infant infirmities, for her for her infirmity shall she be unclean. Okay, and in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. Okay, we read in the book of Luke. We just read in the second chapter of the book of Luke about the circ of, of Yahweh Shai getting circumcised, okay? And she shall then continue in the third T days, she, Shalakia, and she, these words so small, Shalakia, and she shall then continue in the, in the, blood of her purif purifying three and thirty days she shall touch no hallowed thing nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying be fulfilled okay now let's go back to Luke okay so we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're going to read it again. The book of Luke chapter 2, verse 21. And when, and when eight days were accomplished, okay? So we spoke about the seven days in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the Levitical law, um, law of Moses. It said, 
and when eight it, 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 it spoke about seven days and then on the eighth day you shall circumcise the the child okay and when eight days were accomplished for the th circumcising of the child his name was called Yahushai which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb and when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished they brought home to Jerusalem to present home to Yahweh okay as verse 23 as it is written in the law of of Yahweh every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord okay and the the law of Yahweh is the law of Moses because really the law was given unto Moses you know, you know, Moses is uh, also called the lawgiver, you know, because he was uh, he was given the laws and through whom Israel, the rest of Israel were given the laws. OK. All right. And um, with that. Um, I'm going to close up. Okay, and um, I'm going to start part two, okay? And with that, all praise, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Forgive me the spirit to do this video. And um, double honor to our apostles of great millstone, peace and salutations to the whole for elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom.